Eric Burgess here, and they've told us to find all the values of theta in 0 to 360 degrees, where cosine theta is equal to rad 3 over 2. Now, rad 3 over 2 occurs because of a special triangle. If we were to draw this out, we would have a triangle. It would require a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and these are in degrees. And across 30, we'd have a 1. Across 60, we'd have a rad three and then across from the right angle we'd have a two so it occurs from this kind of a triangle and the time when cosine is equal to this value right is when we have rad three over two so rad three is this one right here which is for a 30 degrees it's the adjacent over the hypotenuse and that would have to be a, a 30 degree mark, right? Because that's when uh, this comes out. So if we take the cosine of a 30 degree, that's what we're gonna get. So if we were to draw this out, because that's one angle that it can happen at. And I, I highly recommend, if, if you can't remember, just think of which special triangle produces a ratio that involves these things. So if you see a rad three, you can immediately go, ah, a rad three means we're gonna be dealing with a 30, 60, 90. If you see a square root of two hanging out, then you can immediately think, oh, okay, this is gonna be a 45, 45, 90 triangle with a one, one, and a rad two for the hypotenuse. So if you know your special triangles, when you see these ratios, they should uh, stick out at you and go, oh, this reminds me of this triangle and that triangle should let you know because by drawing it, we were able to deduce, hey, you know, rad 3 is the adjacent of this one and the hypotenuse of this one. And we, the reason we look at that is because we say, well, we know cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So to get this ratio, we had to take the cosine of this angle. So there's another just sort of a recap there. So we have 30 degrees. 30 degrees is our first one. However, there is another place where we're going to get a positive rad three over two, right? That's where all the places where cosine is positive. So if we look at this and we say, all students take calculus. Well, it turns out that, you know, it's positive in this quadrant because all of the functions are positive, but it'll also be positive in the fourth quadrant, which means there's an angle somewhere in this quadrant that will give us a, um, a, a similar result. So if we do this and we say, okay, well, what angle is that? It's going to be this angle. And what we're going to do is we're going to go around like this and hit it. So we need to figure out what that angle is. And it ends up being 30 degrees in the negative direction, minus 30 degrees. And so if we do 360 minus 30, it's going to be positive 330 degrees and we can see this because we're going to get the same triangle it's just going to be flipped so if we if we do this right it's still going to be a 30 60 90 triangle which is why we know we're going to need a 30 and when we draw it we're going to have a one which will be negative across from the 30 we're going to have a square root of three and we're going to have a two and so looking at this, this one doesn't matter because that would be involved with the sign. We only care about these two numbers, which are still both positive. So it turns out 330 degrees would also do it. So our answer would be 30 degrees and 330. So what I highly recommend doing is considering, is this positive or negative? Where, which quadrants is that true in? Use a special triangle and then use that angle. So you saw here, we knew it was 30 here. Well, if we invert it, it happened to tell us about the other place this was true. You, you may need to change a couple of things uh, depending on uh, the angle that you're dealing with, but that's the general problem solving strategy that will give us it. And so this plus all coterminal angles with this, but we were told that we only care about uh, from zero degrees to 360 degrees. So these are the two angles of theta that would uh, give us what we're looking for. If you have any questions about this, uh, feel free to let me know and comment down below. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos, and we'll catch you in the next problem.